Hey guys, welcome back. Jordan here at the 90 Gnome Homestead. Today we're going to be going over how to test a battery to see if it is still viable. Have you ever gone to your junk drawer, pulled out a battery for an electronic, only to find out that it wasn't still good? There is nothing more frustrating than going through the work of replacing the batteries in one of your electronics, only to find out that the battery should have been thrown away. So today I'm going to show you guys a quick and easy trick on how to get your batteries tested to let you know if they're still viable or if they just need to be replaced. Really easy to do. Anybody can do this. The equipment isn't very expensive either. So why don't you guys come in close and I'll show you how to test your batteries. So today I had a remote here that I was going to put a battery in and my battery wasn't turning on. So I want to show you guys exactly how you can get these tested out. It's really simple. Get yourself a voltmeter. You can get a cheap one for about seven, eight bucks from Harbor Freight, or you can go on Amazon, get them. I'll leave a link down below. You can go to your box stores and get them. These things can be had just about anywhere, guys. We got our various batteries over here. We got some double A's, a nine volt, a D cell. I'm going to show you guys how you can quickly do this with just about any kind of battery. You can even test your car batteries and your cordless drill batteries doing this. We're going to turn on our multimeter. Right now it's set for AC. We're going to change it over to DC. We're going to take our two probes. We're going to start off with a AA battery. We're going to put the positive probe on one end. And we're going to put the negative on the other. And as you guys can see, we're reading 1.6. That's what a AA battery should be reading, 1.6. I slipped off there. There we go. We're going to test these other batteries here. Make it real simple. Just line them up. 1.6. One point six, one point six. So all of these AA batteries are still good. We got our D cell battery. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to put our positive on one end. We're going to put our negative on the other. We're still reading one point six. That's good. We got ourselves a nine volt battery. It says nine volts. That should tell us about how much we're getting out of it. We're going to find our positive side. They're usually marked on the side. We're going to make sure we put our positive on there. Now watch, watch our meter up here. Put these probes on. We're reading 5.9. This battery here has been struggling turning on my remote that I've been using. Let me show you guys. This is a new 9 volt battery. See? 9 volt. 9.6. There's the difference, guys. This is how you can quickly check your batteries to see if they're still viable. All right, guys, it really is that simple. You can test any kind of battery using one of these uh, voltmeters. That's what they're designed to do. They also can check to see if you've got continuity, if you have your uh, AC in your house. You guys can check any of the, the different voltages that you have with one of these things. They're real handy to have around. You can get real cheap models. You can get the more expensive models. They all work about the same. The higher end models typically have more features on them. That's really the only difference. So guys, if you have any questions or comments about checking out your batteries to see if they still work, hit us up, leave a message down below or contact us over on Nutty Gnome Homestead on Facebook. If not, until next time, I'm going to get my new batteries put in my equipment and go and test them out. You guys get your batteries tested, get you a voltmeter. They're handy to have around the house. Y'all stay safe.